Well, that sounded like good news. Ooh, they just promoted Mabel Green. Goodness. She just went downtown to see a movie and she never returned. I think that Terry should come and stay with us. And we want her to come live with us. $175,000 for repairs? As a matter of fact, I think he might be able to help. Well, bring him on in. Just don't know if I have the strength to do it, Lord. And I think you'll make a great head deacon too. Maybe in a year or two, maybe assistant pastor. Just another confirmation that it's time for me to go. my girlfriend. You like it? Well, now as a matter of fact, I do believe it makes you look like a pretty good looking old bra. Well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Have some tea. Oh, thanks. Wait a minute. You got a hot date? I'm not going to kiss and tell. <laughs> well, that's assuming you got something to kiss and tell about. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Something smells good. What is it? I have no idea. I'm just trying to invent something to use up some of the ladies' eggs, and as you can tell, the ladies are raining those eggs out there. Well, it smells good. Which usually means there is a possibility it might even be edible. And what if it's not? Oh, that's easy. I just grab my purse, head on down to Katie Lou's Cafe in Sonoya. Not a problem. Well, knowing your reputation for ruining even the simplest of recipes, I expect we'll probably be heading to Sonoya. Just try it. You might just be surprised and have to eat those words. Mmm. <laughs> that is not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Mm. Well, goodbye, Katie Lou. Oh, but I like <laughs> Katie Lou's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, how are things going to the church? You mean other than Deacon Hall breaking my heart and then finding out that Mabel Green's replacement is going to be a bigger pain in my neck than Mabel herself, other than those two minor details, oh, everything is just hunky-dory. Lynn, you need to just let this Deacon Hall thing go unless you want somebody to remain a part of the church that doesn't want to be there. I know. And as much as I'm going to miss Deacon Hall, the fact is, a leader has to be faithful, and right now, he's just not faithful. He's so angry, and he's decided he's leaving, and that's it. So all I can do is just place him in the Lord's hands and trust, really trust, that the Lord will turn it into something good. And he will. Yes, he will. And you do have some good news. You found that agency that'll take on the responsibility of helping Terry. Thank you, Lord. Abba always knows how to show up on time. Mm -hmm. Maddie, they are a wonderful organization. They love God and they fully understand the complexities of human trafficking. Mm -hmm. We certainly don't. And what I'm particularly excited about is not only can they care for her properly, but they also know how to see that she's going to be protected. Mm -hmm. Protection is vital. And the church just wasn't equipped to, to do that. It wasn't, and I don't think it was ever meant to be. So you do have good news. Yes. So now you can switch your attention to that little problem of Mabel Green's replacement. 
Honey, believe it or not, I'm not even going to take a second thought about that. Oh, really? Mm-mm. How's that? Well, basically because I've come up with some very, very creative ways of dodging that old gal. <laughs> In fact, I'm kind of proud of myself, to tell you the truth. Why waste all that time? You're the pastor, aren't you? Well, I am. Well, she can't make you do anything. You know, you're right. She can't make me do anything. Well, just stand up to her. What's the matter with me? You are absolutely right. I am the pastor. I make the decisions in That's that right. church. I, I, girl, I'm going to walk up to her and I'm going to put my finger in her face and I'm going to tell her to buzz off. I'm going to tell her you are not bringing anybody else into this sanctuary. It's going to cause problems. There you go. I'm going to show her who's boss. So, where are you going to hide this time? The men's room. So I guess we can agree all of the songs for this Sunday need to focus on the awesomeness of God. And it always should. You know, Derek, it's not just that he's worthy of nothing less, but you and I both know that awesome things happen in the midst of worship. Mm -hmm. Folk get healed, filled with the Holy Ghost, delivered. It's, it's sort of like God says, you know what? If you'll just focus on me, I'm going to turn right around and focus on you and the wonders start. It's glorious. Mm. Amen to that. <laughs> So you know what, when Gina gets here, we're gonna focus a little bit more on some more Sunday morning music. How about that? Worship. Worship. Focus mm. on him. And uh, here she is, Miss Gina. And tell me this, is she in a good mood or a bad mood? Well, she's doing all right right now, but are you getting ready to change that? No, but Mabel Green's replacement is about to do the honors. Is she on her way in? She'll be here in about 30 minutes and I can't wait to hear what you plan on doing when she gets here. I tell you what she's gonna do. She's gonna run for her life. That's what she's gonna do. I am not. You two watch and behold, because I am gonna take a stand, a firm stand. I'm gonna look her square in the eyeballs and tell her she is not gonna run over me like Mabel Green did. Mm-mm, because the Mabel train, that puppy has ceased to run. You know this is Mabel Green on steroids, right? I do. And you gonna take a stand against that? I am. Today? Today. <laughs> yeah, okay. We gonna watch Chicken Little here holler and scream, the sky is falling, and run. <laughs> Y'all go ahead. You just have your little laugh. You just have your good old time, but you're gonna see it today. I'm standing firm. And you know what, Gina? Just have your camera ready, okay? Ain't you funny. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I can at least try it and be. Excuse me, can I help you? Oh, hello. I am Carmelita Pavarelli Schwartz. I'm wondering, can you help me find Pastor Jenkins? Oh, yes. Ask them. Those two know everybody. Okay, okay. Um, and what does she look like? She's a little short lady with gray hair and a blue shirt with a clerical collar. Yeah? Okay. I find her. Didn't she say she was going to stand up to her? Well, that's what I heard. So I guess the pastor done lied. Lied? Who's lying? You don't lie to me. I'm here to help. I need to find Pastor Jenkins. Can you help me find her? Do you know where she is? She could be back there. Or she could be out there somewhere. You know, it's always something going on around here. We never know where she is. And that's the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, who are you again? My name is Carmelita Pavarelli Schwartz, but my friends, they call me Bert. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, that's not funny why you laugh to me. No, I'm just here to make a very good deal for Pastor Jenkins. Can you help me to find her? Do you know where she is? Well, you know, she goes outside a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she walks around the building and she prays a lot, so. Her prayers are answered. I'm here. I will make her a special price and special deal. Okay, you come with me. We will find her. Come, come. That Mabel, she tell me that the preacher is sneaky, but I will find her. You wait, I will find her. There, cleaning lady, cleaning lady, you know where pastor is? No, sir, a cleaning lady knows nothing. Oh, cleaning lady always knows something. I have a special prize for no. you. If you is tell that me. pastor? No, no. Pastor? Not so loud. Oh. What? Mabel Wright, you sneaky pastor. I'm sorry, you're mistaken. Uh, what? Pink, you're not even good, sneaky pastor. Quick, 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 go get a picture, get a picture. <laughs> she is sunk now. <laughs> sunk. Why you hide from me? I like your scarf. I am Carmelita Pavarelli. <laughs> Schwartz, and I will here to make you a good deal. But her friends call her... Bert. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? I'm your new social services director. Please tell me you don't have another clown in your car. If you have a clown, I'm out of here. I don't have clown. I have whole circus. Now I'm out of here. No, 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 stay. I make you happy. I bring you dancing bears, dancing clowns. Hi, why? Stop! Why are you here today? I just come by to say hello. I will come back another time and make you a special deal. But I will see you and you can thank me then, okay? Bye bye. That's your two o'clock. Okay. But you received a call from a pastor, Leslie, too. And Leslie. Yeah, we went to seminary together. What's that old gal up to? Let's just say things keep getting more and more interesting around here. A good interesting or a bad interesting? You know, I'm not exactly sure. Just interesting. So you're going to keep all this to yourself? Can you not see on my face that I await with bated breath? <laughs> well, one of her elders is moving to this area. Uh -huh. She has the thought that he would make a great addition to your leadership team. Yikes. I don't know where to begin with that one. You know what? Try beginning with this. Am I to assume that he's white? Mm, most probably. Okay. Am I to assume that an elder outranks a deacon? Some say so, yes. So, once Deacon Hall and his family find out that you're immediately replacing him with some white guy who outranks him, am I to assume that this will not be received with, let's say, grace and mercy? What you may assume is I am getting such a headache. Mm. This is complicated. Here you go. I know it's your favorite. Thank you, honey. But you know that's not really true. Since when? Since the first time I laid eyes on you, you became my favorite. You sweet talker, you. I know what you're up to. I can't help it. 
You know, it's raining outside, and you know that always makes me very romantic. Raining outside or not, the elephant in the room has stumped all over my romantic mood. What elephant? The one that keeps yelling, he's leaving the church. He's leaving the church. Which means we're not going to be family anymore on Sunday mornings. Mary, it doesn't have to be like that. You know, you all can come with me. Or you can just stay. Look, Elena and I aren't changing churches. We're where God wants us to be. Can you say the same? If he didn't want me to leave, he wouldn't have given me the opportunity. And besides, it's way too much drama at this church to suit me. Drama? What you call drama, boo, we call moving forward. What time are you meeting Deacon Timmonson at the church? Uh, about three. And have you thought about what questions you're going to ask him? I don't need to ask Timmonson any questions. I've known him for a long time, and I know he'll do right by me. And he'll do right by us too, Mary, if you come with me. And besides, it's not going to look good if you don't. I mean, if a man can't keep his woman in check, how is he expected to take on a bigger leadership role? Keep his woman in check? How did you get from wanting to save lives for Jeremiah's house to keeping his woman in check? Well, I am the man of the house. And as far as Jeremiah's house is concerned, I talked to Timerson and he said he'll support it. I'm changing churches, not my commitment to Jeremiah's house. Come on, Mary, this will be good for all of us. It will never be good for us as long as your sole motivation is for you to receive a title. That's not fair. Lamar, you're going to stand in front of God Almighty and he's not going to give a flip about your title. The only thing he's going to be concerned about is if you were obedient, if you had a servant's heart, and if you cared about furthering his kingdom. So what do you want me to do, Mary? I want you to ask the tough questions. Like what? Like, do he want an integrated church? Ask details. Ask what does he think about Jeremiah's house? How is he going to serve the congregation? And what is the role that women play in leadership? You mean like remaining silent in the church? Okay, Mr. Funny Man. I'm serious. I'm not playing. Ask him the tough questions. Ask him, how do they serve the Lord outside the four walls? Ask him how do they deal with the church's money and who makes those decisions. All right, Mary, that's enough. Enough? Honey, you're my husband and you're the only man I've ever loved. Since you put a ring on this finger, we've been one in the faith. Don't tear that apart. I'm glad to see you found the church without any problem, man. Yeah, there wasn't any problem at all, Pastor. Uh, well, good morning and welcome to our humble church. Well, thank you, and I'm really excited about this opportunity. Yeah, I am too, my brother. So, are the deacons in Fellowship Hall? Uh, not exactly. Well, where are they? Um, uh, they're kind of busy today. Wait. They're too busy to meet with the new head deacon? Let me explain to you. Uh, most of them feel like they should be head deacon. But wait a minute, listen, don't concern yourself. There's no worries about that. I'm the new pastor. I make up all the rules around here. Wait a minute, man. It sounds like you have a power struggle on your hands, and I'm not sure if I'm interested in trying to fit in. No, 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 my brother, listen. Like I say, don't worry about that. What I got to do is explain to them is that we need you to survive. 
You need me for what? Uh, members. Let, let me explain. When Pastor Jones left, man, most of the congregation went with him. But I'm fairly certain that once you come on board, most of your congregation will come over with you. You know, especially the givers, man. The ones that's gonna bring that money. What? Oh, come on, man. Pastors have to look sharp. Threads cost money and cars too. I can't have people see me drive up in that junk I've been driving. Now listen, I'm gonna take care of you too in the process. You know, you could use the offerings that's coming in to help the needy. That would help build a church, wouldn't it? My brother, my brother. Obviously, you hadn't seen my new first lady. Man, that's my queen, man. She's going to need money for clothes and furniture for our new apartment. Hey, congratulations, man. I didn't know you had gotten remarried. Uh, well, we're not exactly, but, but we are talking about it. But wait, you just said our apartment, didn't you? Well, that's kind of our little secret around here. But we, listen, but we are going to get married just as soon as her divorce is final. Divorce? Wait a minute, man. You taking me in the territory I'm not sure about at all. Oh, come on, Deacon Hall, man. The world is changing. Yeah, the world may be changing, but not the church. You're wrong, man. Hadn't you heard of grace? Yeah, but not grace to hide unrepentant sin. Hey, man, I'm not feeling very comfortable at all right about now. Oh, nonsense, man. You're going to feel better once I show you your new deacon's office and parking place. Hey, and once you get that congregation over here, man, we're going to buy you a new robe, man. A robe? Yeah, come, come on, man. We're going to work it out. Hey, it'll be all right. Everything's fine. Jesus. Whoa, you look like you lost your best friend. Honey, I don't know if I fit in anywhere anymore. Oh, honey, you'll always fit in here. Would another piece of cake and a cup of coffee help? A uh, cup of coffee would be fine. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. How about a little sugar? Now that would be on time. I'm talking about sugar for your coffee. Thank you. You're welcome. Besides, Elena will be home soon from her job interview. Where is she at the high school? Mm-hmm. So what grade is she going to be teaching this year? She doesn't care. Only if they hire her as a track coach. Mm, that would be her dream job. Sure is. Speaking of dream jobs, how does your meeting go? Well, it didn't go as I expected, that's for sure. Tell me about it. Honey, I don't even know where to begin. Did you like the other deacons? I wouldn't know. None of them showed up. What? How many are there? Four. Four, and none of them showed up? Why not? Timmonson said they were busy, but I don't know if I buy that. But one thing I know for sure, there seems to be a power struggle to see which one of the deacons is going to climb to the top. Now, I know Timmonson promised me the head deacon job, but I don't know if the job is mine yet. And how is that any different than what you've been trying to do? At any rate, doesn't the congregation have something to say in all of this? What congregation? They left with the old pastor. So you mean to tell me there are a lot of leaders and no followers? You know, I hate to admit it, but it resembles our church before you know who came. Mm. I mean, it's totally deserted and they have no activities for the youth. And that's what you want. That's what's going to make you happy to be the head deacon over what amounts to nothing? You know, that's not even what bothers me the most. 
What is? Mary, I don't even know where to begin. We'll start somewhere. Well, they want my family to come with me. Oh, we both know that's not going to happen. But they also want me to convince some of the congregation to come, especially the givers. The pastor said that he and the first lady need to look good in their new positions, and that's going to take a lot of money. So not only do they want to steal our deacons, but they want to steal our congregation for money? Lamar, you do not know how angry I am getting. It just feels like my head is about to explode. If you think that's bad, this is really going to blow your mind. He and the first lady need the tithe money so that they can redecorate their children's bedrooms. And get this, they're not even married, but they're living together. It's a big mess. Lamar Hall, if you do not get on that phone and call Pastor Lynn right now. For what? So that I can go crawling back on my hands and knees? I don't think so. Stop it. You know she's not like that. Mary, if I had to face her right now, the little pride I had would vanish. And that wouldn't be such a bad thing. It will probably spare you the complete fall that pride causes. All right. What about talking to Pastor McKnight? No, I don't, I don't think so. Lynn wouldn't mind. She wouldn't care who brought about restoration. She only wants us to be family again. Besides, the church misses you, hard-headed and all. How about I'll go get that number? I don't know, Mary. I don't know.